Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to install the Window Builder plugin in Eclipse IDE. So let's start. At first, go to the Help option and then click on this option, select New Software. Then type, uh, then from the drop down menu, select All Available Sites. Let it load. It is fetching the children. After that, on this search bar, search Window Builder. After that, as you can see, the Window Builder Core, Window Builder Core UI and all these packages are showing here. Just select this checkbox where General Purpose Tools is written. Select this checkbox and unselect the last two checkbox and select these two checkbox as you can see. Then click on next. As you can see all these packages will be installed. Uh, then click on next. As you can see you have to accept the terms of the license agreement. So click this checkbox and click on finish to install it. As you can see on the bottom installing software 48%. So it will take some time to install the full plugin. So after the installation is completed, click on this restart now button to restart the Eclipse ID so that it can include the window builder plugin inside it and you can run your GUI app smoothly. So click on this restart now button. As you can see the Eclipse IDE is restarting. As you can see the Eclipse IDE has opened after restarting. Now you can easily create your GUI application. Now it's time to check whether the plugin is installed properly or not. For that, we have to create a new Java project. So go to the file option, then click on new, then click on Java project. And then give the name of the project, whatever you want. I will give XYZ. And then I will keep all these settings as default. You can uncheck this create module info.java file because it is not needed. And then you can click on this next button. Click on finish. As you can see XYZ Java project is created. We have a SRC folder inside it. So right click on this SRC folder and click on new and then select this other option. And as you can see window builder option is here. If you don't find the window builder option, just scroll up and down a bit, you will find it. Then under this window builder option, you will get the swing designer option. And within that you have to select J frame. Click on next and then give the name of the frame. I will give it is as M frame and then click on finish. As you can see the M frame dot Java file is created and the design option is available here beside the source option. So on the source option you can see the source code and on the design you can design it with your own without coding much. And as you can see, this is the palette, this is the container, then the layouts are there, then components are there. Now, you can drag and drop a button here. As you can see, I drag and dropped the J text field here. Then you can drag and drop the J button also here, as you can see in this way. As you can see, I have dragged and dropped a J text field and a J button side by side. So you can create your own design as your preference. So yeah, this is how you can install the Window Builder plugin in Eclipse. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel and share this with your friends. Thanks for watching my video. Have a nice day.